Hi, Dave from Buzzy here. This is just a quick video to talk about naming conventions for your Fitma layers when you're working with the Buzzy plugin. Now, Buzzy itself doesn't really care what your Fitma layers are called. It uses its own names for the components and references, but when you're dealing with more complicated files um, or app designs, you often end up in situations where nesting matters. So you might have a, a layout or a view that nests other layouts and views which provide context to nested forms and so on. And, so getting an overview of that structure when you're looking at a screen via the layers panel over here can be useful if you can tell what things are just by looking at the layer names. So rather than having to select them to see that, oh, this thing's marked up as a form and this thing's a layout or this thing might be a view of something else and so on. Um, having that overview here as you're looking at the, the layer names helps a lot. So in this context, for instance, it's a login screen for a training app. Um, at the outer level here, well, three levels down, I need to provide a context for the nested forms, which is I need to get the user ID. So it's a dummy form wrapper. And that's what this layer name here tells me. I'll put in brackets what it is. Uh, further down the tree, for instance, I've got layout conditional, which tells me, okay, that's a, Buzzy layout component with a conditional rule on it, so it shows or hides depending on certain conditions. Um, and there's a, two of those here. One, one will show in one context, the other will show in the other, and so on. Um, I can quickly tell that from just looking at my uh, layer names here. Now, the actual naming conventions are up to you. Um, this is just a suggestion. You can be as loose as you want with it. It could be descriptive text or you could get into a more rigid kind of structure like you might, for instance, down here. Um, this one, you could do something like bracket and what it is. It's a field. Uh, it's optional or the, the context. It's an embedded micro app field. And its mode is it's a result view as opposed to a no result view and so on. So you could have a more rigidly defined naming convention or it could just be a loose description, whatever works for you and your team. Um, so yeah, that's just food for thought. I hope that helps. Uh, jump onto Discord, let us know if you've got any questions or if you've got some suggestions like what, what naming conventions work for you. Uh, let us know, it'd be great to hear from you. Thanks for watching.